Welcome back. We are here on ETH looking at the uh, commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, April 13th, uh, 13th, 2021. If you like support the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the US dollar index. And as you can see, we're trading just underneath the 20 exponential. We have been uh, trying to rally up towards the 220 and we have been rejected so far. At this current stage, technical indicators are very bearish. So this could mean that we'll drop towards the 50 moving average down here at 91.49. Rallies above the, the 200 moving average opens the door to the very high here at 93.42. So the drop here has uh, major implications for most of those, uh, most of the currency pairs that we basically analyze um, on this channel. It has also major implications for the commodities and precious metals. Um, so US dollar is depreciating while, for example, um, and that is uh, that is bullish for, for stocks and commodities and so on, while the yields are basically rallying at this currency. So it's kind of people, things are working against each other. And that's probably why we have basically seen markets um, not moving that much today apart from some um, single stocks. So let's look at oil, for example. So oil uh, doesn't really know where to go at this current stage. We have tried to rally up towards the 50 and basically we got rejected there. We have a crossing of the 20 and 50 moving average at this point, And that is a fairly bearish shine. The last time we got a crossing was based all the way back in November. And then we basically had this massive rally here. And this rejection as well is also a very worrying sign for oil. So we could see oil drop. If you look at the Fibonacci retracements for this, we could see where we could go. The first one is down here at the 54. Then we have the 50 and then all the way down to the 200 moving average down here at the give or take is 70, uh, 47 uh, or there above. A break above the 50 moving average could open the door to the top of the bullish bound at uh, 64. But um, if you look at technical indicators, MACD is negative territory underneath the signal line. Otherwise, other indicators are fairly bullish at this point. So it's still a waiting game. Uh, there is no clear signal where this is going whatsoever. So let's, let's look at natural gas. So natural gas has tried to rally today and um, you can just look at the CCI, for example, it is basically shooting up to the wars of 100 level, which is very bullish, uh, fairly surprising. But we did test these levels uh, twice down here at uh, 2.4742 and now we're rallying up towards the top of the bullish band, got heavily rejected here, created this inverted hammer. So um, if we manage to rally yet again and trade above the 50 200 moving average we could see this go towards the top of the bullish band at 2.6499 or the 50 moving average will most likely be heavily rejected at 2.714 technical indicators are all turning around macd is still in bearish territory but it has crossed the signal line with the stochastic so let's look at copper So copper did fall towards the 50 moving average and then rallied. Um, this probably won't be the last we see of this drop as uh, technical indicators are very bearish for copper. So copper has had this amazing run since basically um, March last year. We had this massive rally here and now it looks like we are basically uh, trading within this, uh, this triangle and we are about to probably break out of this triangle within the next uh, week or two so we can get it up around here so it looks like we're trading within to and do this corner and then we'll have a decision whether or not we break towards the upside or towards the downside um, so nothing really happening here we're just going back and forward and uh, at some point we'll get into this corner and then it has to basically uh, either break to the downside or towards the upside so let's look at gold. So gold has uh, been rejected at the 50 moving average. We're trading just at the 20 exponential moving average. Technical indicators are actually turning around for gold. 
break below here could open the door towards the bottom of the bullish band at 1600 or 1700 uh, break below these previous levels here well that could open the door all the way down to 1600 and also probably 1500 so this could be an absolute tide away to the downside and it kind of depends on interest rates um, if they increase in the united states uh, then we'll basically see this drop significantly rallies from here well we have tried to rally up towards the 50 moving average and we have been heavily rejected at this point we also saw it here when we rallied and then it got really rejected and didn't basically stop until we hit the very bottom so this is a drop of 1850 all the way down to 1675 so an absolutely massive drop so we could see something similar here break above the 50 could open the door to the two uh, 200 moving average at the 1850 so it is kind of waiting game if this level here breaks then there could be an absolutely tidal wave to the downside so let's look at silver so very similar here we have been rejected at the 20 exponential we could see this drop all the way down towards the very bottom here at 23 dollars that if that breaks then we could see this absolutely fall apart we can look at the fibonacci retracement to see how far we could actually go so we have the first Fibonacci retracement right here at 22, the second right here at 20, and then down here at 18 will most likely uh, where we'll find major support. So very similar here to, for example, gold. If we break this level here, then we could see an absolute tidal wave. Technical indicators are all turning around for silver as well. Break above the 20 exponential could open the door to the 50 up here at $26. So let's look at platinum. So Platinum has also had a terrible day today. We got rejected at the top of the bullish band and now it looks like we're heading back towards these previous lows or basically the bottom of the bullish band. Technical indicators are all turning around and are very bearish. So we have seen these moves before. We have a rally outside of the bullish band, break down to the very bottom of the bullish band and so on. It has basically been behaving like this for basically all the way back to, to November last year. So uh, this is not anything new but if these levels break for example if uh, 1114 breaks then we could see this drop all the way down to the 200 moving average around uh, 1.004 so that is to be watched technical indicators are very bearish at this point so let's look at pallium so pallium has yet again uh, reached towards this level here and uh, at this current stage this is becoming an area of uh, where basically you are struggling to get through you will most likely get through it as uh, as uh, there is a clear trend line that we are bouncing off so we will most likely basically really choppy trading uh, through this level here and then we can basically head towards uh, give or take uh, these previous highs of uh, 1720 and 51 um technical indicators they are fairly bullish macd is still underneath the signal line in a bullish territory um stochastic is bullish cci is bullish and the rsi is bullish so yes momentum is still to the upside at this current stage so let's look at aluminium So aluminium has uh, well dropped yes uh, on Friday and today we have tried to rally a little bit. We are a, well, not a massive rally, but we're getting there. Usually it, we this goes towards the top of the bullish band and then drops towards support at the twenty exponential. That's what basically has happened numerous times in the past. Technical indicators are well fairly bearish at this current stage. So we could see this drop towards the twenty before rallying back towards. 2286 break below the 20 exponential well that opens up the gates to all the way down to the 50 and our 2141 so let's look at nickel so nickel has uh, well been absolutely rejected here at the top of the bullinger band at the moment we're heading back towards the 200 moving average trading at 16,120 technical indicators are looking at dreadful so a retest of the 200 moving average or a break of the 200 moving average could open the door to 15,000. so let's look at sugar 
So sugar has also been rejected here at the, the 20 exponential. It looks like we're running out of momentum here. If we get another red candlestick right uh, tomorrow, we did, that could mean that we'll head towards the 200 moving average down there at 0.1428. Technical indicators are still bullish. MACD, stochastic, uh, CGI is flat, the RSI is flat. So um, it depends on where basically we're going. If we get another green candlestick here, we could head towards the 50. But at this current stage, it looks like we are leveling off and we're doing the same thing as we did here before going significantly lower. So let's look at cotton. So cotton has definitely done a very similar move to as um, sugar, but this is completely obvious where this is going at this current stage. Uh, this is a very bearish candlestick. I would be really surprised if we see another green candlestick here, which, which basically may, makes this go all the way down up towards the 50. That doesn't look like that is going to be the case. It looks like we're going back towards these previous lows at 0 0.77, uh, 0 0.06. Technical indicators are all turning around, and we could not, we probably won't find major support until we hit 0 0.75 down here at the, top, at the bottom of the Bollinger Band. So it's just more of the same rally towards the 20 exponential and getting absolutely hammered, and now yet again up towards the 20, and now yet again hammered. So let's look at uh, we have um, Kakoa. So Kokoa, a lot of choppy trading here the last few trading days. It looks like we have kind of within this range. Uh, so it's not something I like to, to trade at all. Uh, but top here, give or take 2.4, bottom here 2.3 to 1. It looks like 20 exponential is where this is going to get rejected if we rally up towards the 20 uh, up at 2.419 it most likely will be rejected at that point point. Um, so we have been in this downward channel it has been fairly aggressive uh, sell-off in the in the recent weeks and uh, i kind of expected this to drop all the way down to 2.2 uh, or even 2.0 but at this current stage, we are rallying and we will most likely get rejected at the 20 exponential. Technical indicators are turning around due to this rally today. So let's look at weed. So weed has rallied up towards the 50 moving average and then absolutely collapsed today. We're trading just about the 20 exponential. Otherwise, technical indicators like the MACD and the stochastic are still bullish. CCI is turning it significantly around. And the uh, RSI is also turning around. So it looks like this was basically the top of the rally. And now we're heading back towards these previous lows down here at 600. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.